Okay, so as promised, I'm going to go into the offline maps that I use. I started off by searching Galileo offline maps, which I have the app for. Uh, the app itself is free, I believe, but comes with in-app purchases, or, or maybe not, uh, but it was only a few bucks and well worth it. It's my favorite one. Okay, so this is it. Uh, select that, it'll bring you to this page. Offline map support, learn more, and this is all after you've purchased the app itself. And again, that's Galileo Offline Maps. Then you've got to go here to MOBAC, the MOBAC website, which brings you to this. And then you click here for download. Once it's downloaded, you'll be given a zip file. looks a bit like this. Open that up. We'll have a folder. Of course I'm on a Mac but it should be however you do those things for PC. And again because I'm on Mac I'm going to use uh, .jar as opposed to this .exe. I'm not really sure what the point is there but it's going uh, to make me force it open as well. Okay. I don't know what this error message is, but it never messes with anything, so I do it. Name of new atlas. Uh, we're going to pretend that I'm going to Guyana next, because I don't have a map for them. We're going to select Galileo offline maps, and OK. Now this brings us to this big giant map, and to move, you right click. And then you can double click, I believe. And to do this, yep, double clicking brings us in. And I might be just fine with that. Okay, so I'm going to want all of Guyana first. What I need to do is select it all. Didn't work at all. And make sure I'm in the right country here. Yes. Okay. So I'm out one more level to make this a little bit easier. Okay, so I've got the entire country selected, and this is uh I'm using the OpenStreetMap map quest. Works just fine for me, but if you're looking for terrain maps, uh, relief maps, other types of maps, you, you can find them there. Uh, you can bring down this drop-down menu and use whatever is work, whatever works for you. You've got topographical maps, various stuff. I'm just going to stick with the map quest map. Um, I'm going to select, select tiles. Now watch these tiles start racking up. Of course, Guyana is a pretty small country. <laughs> But uh, so to get three layers in, we've only got to have three tiles. And four. And see that one brought us one. Okay. Six. And really, I'm going to go doing this. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. We went from eight to sixteen. I'm going to continue doing this until I've got a couple hundred tiles on here. That looks good. Level nine. Uh. I'm going to come down here to layer. I'm just going to call this country. Add selection. And you see I've got the entire country up to level 9. Let's say I know roughly where I want to go. Uh, I'm going to be spending most of my time in the coastal region. So I'm going to just assume this would be good enough. Uh, we'll, we'll include some of this area as well because there's the border area. I don't want to miss any of that and end up on the wrong side of the wrong border. So I'm going to come here and select all this area. And I'm going to go and add 10. And then I'm going to come back and take all these others off. 
The reason I went ahead and added 10 was because I wanted to remember exactly where I left off last time because I don't want to recreate the wheel and add more tiles than necessary because these tiles, once they start adding up, they take a while. Uh, 11, 12, and let's say we'll get down to 13 tiles. No, let's stop at 12. Uh, I'm going to call this Eastern Coast. Now level 12 is pretty good, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with that, but I am going to go a little bit further into detail and add selection. I know I'm going to want to see Georgetown, so let's zoom in on Georgetown here. Not that anything particularly special about Georgetown I want to see, but it's the capital, right? So, I've got my marked here to 10 to 12. I'll just have to keep that in mind for later on. And we'll select this area. And go to 13 and deselect all these ones. 14, 15, and 15 is usually good enough to get a good street view. Uh, I mean, you're looking at 11 right here. So let's just show you what a, a 14 map would look like. And 14. Uh, so that's your level 14. That's how much detail you're going to have. Give me a second. I'll, let's change this to... Georgetown. Add selection. And we'll get out of that. So you can see how much detail I'm going to have at 14. I selected all the way to 15 on that. So there's my level of detail at 15. And back out a notch. So I might say, okay, well, this is the major part of the city. I just had a large portion of this selected all the way up to 15 and because I'm liable to be mostly in the major part of the city and I want to be able to know exactly where I am mostly for security reasons go ahead and pick 16 and 17 and that's going to add me a lot of, even with that small selection that's going to add a lot of tiles and Georgetown Center add selection but we're at 17 here, and I'm just going to show you that level of detail. I don't think you'd have any trouble picking out your house on this. Okay, zoom back out. Alright, but I also have plans to hit this northern coastal area. I just don't happen to need as much detail because there's no cities that I'm really going to be worrying about. So we left off at 9 on our country map. 10, 11, 12, and let's say 13. For, eh, let's stop at 12. Um, and again, 12 is relatively decent. We named the first one Eastern Coast, which probably should have been Southern Coast, but we'll name this one Northern Coast. And add that selection. And just because I think it'll be really cool to figure out where Mabaroma is, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in this area. So this is about what I've got right now. Zoom out. Yeah. And we'll just pick this little, make sure that looks good. Ah, that's not going to work do this. And 13, go back, take all these off. And 14 should be plenty for this. Mabaruma. And if you're really into keeping things organized, you can put, as I have in some countries, for example, Peru's, uh, I've got many maps, many, many of these different layers for, you can put in 13 to 14 to remember exactly where you were. Add selection. Zoom back out. And uh, for 
for some reason I've got a burning desire to check out this bond firm area. Select it. We know that we left off at 9 with our country, so we're going to go to 10, get rid of this 13 and 14, and see how many that leaves us. 11, 12, 12 is a bit too many tiles. So, but even, let's see what, uh, center that up and just see what 11 looks like and see if that's going to make it work for us. And I think that's going to be enough detail for me. South West. Add selection. Zoom back out. And we're going to come in here to this bond firm. Bond firm? Okay. And it doesn't look like there's anything there, but just for the sake of argument, not even in, doesn't even look like it's in Guyana anymore. We're going to. Add a 12 and 13 layer. And 14. And add that selection. So I'm going to zoom back out. It's a little bit too far. 5, 6, and 7. And I really feel like I've covered every place that I need to be. So we're going to down here and save. Uh, scroll down and select create atlas. And you can see this is going to take a while. It's a pretty in-depth map and one of the reasons why I love doing it this way is because I don't have to sit here and watch it. So I'm going to pause this and go have a few beers and come back finish up later. Okay, while this is going, we still got a few minutes on this. I wanted to point out why I was doing some of these things. So why do I need a map of the whole country? What, but I didn't use a very detailed one. I only went up to level 9 for the whole country, which is rather detailed. It's a lot more detailed than I usually use for my countries. Um, the reason I do that is just simply so if I'm on a bus or a taxi, I have a general idea of where I'm at. I can, I can, if I know I'm three hours away from Georgetown heading towards this bond firm and it's, I'm halfway there, I know I've got another three hours. I know I'm heading in the right direction if I'm driving or if I don't exactly trust the driver or whatever. And that's the only reason I really use the whole country. Of course, if I get lost, I can find the major roads and whatnot. But doing that and I wanted to go over this. You can disable, I've got the grid disabled here, but you can use a WGS 84 grid. Um, if you don't know what that is, then you probably don't need to use it. And are there any more settings over here I need to cover? Um, I don't think so. Ooh, don't do that. So, uh, nope, that should be all you really need to get this started. Okay, come back in a few minutes. Okay, so everything's done. We're back. I'm going to select this uh, Open Atlas folder. You see I've got Diana S, whatever that is. I'm going to bring up my iTunes here. Let's bring that back to the foreground. Now, I'm using my iPad right now. You can use an iPhone. Galileo apps only works for Apple devices. So, that could be a problem for you. But essentially, I come over here, select iPad, come down to these file sharing, select Galileo. And you can see I've got a whole bunch of maps already in here. Just going to drag and drop, copying, we've got Guyana, and I'm going to hold this up here and the rest of the video will be photos from my iPad. 
Okay, so here you can see I have Galileo on my iPad. I open it up. This brings you to where you can tell that I've got Columbia selected as my main map. You can see that Guyana doesn't look very pretty, and I'm going to need to switch to my new Guyana map. I do this by tapping the bottom right setting and switching to maps switching from Medellin Relief to Guyana and now you can see we've got a nice clear map of Guyana and this is a zoom in of Georgetown and this is just an example where I'm placing a location and you can see what it looks like after I filled it all out